just want to show you a little bit about what this uh, generative AI tool called Google Notebook LM can do, uh, as opposed to uh, ChatGPT or Gemini, where you search the whole internet. What this allows you to do is put documents into a library, up to 50 documents, and then you can query those documents as the data source for the uh, for your searches or for your queries. It also has some research assistant uh, capabilities built in. So I've added a uh, a research paper that I wrote a couple of years ago on makerspace informal credentialing or badges. So there's only one document here, but I could add more if I wanted to. But one of the things you can do, you can ask questions, of course, but if I click on notebook guide down here, it gives me a summary of the uh, of the uh, article or articles if you had more than one. And you can do things like this. They've got some pre-recorded things you can do. So one is study guide. So this will generate a study guide for the document or documents, if you had more than one document, of course. It does take a couple of seconds. So here we go. Here's the study guide. Uh, short answer questions. It's got the questions here, and then at the bottom, oh, some essay questions, and then glossary of terms, and then answer key at the bottom to help you study. Again, if you add a chapter or two of a book to put in there, this could help you study for it. Another thing you can do, if I go back to Notebook Guide, it will give me uh, frequently asked questions. And again, it'll take a few seconds to generate the frequently asked questions. And there we go. What are Makerspace badges? What is the purpose of the DSC Makerspace? And so on. Last thing I wanted to show you here before we just start asking questions, it will allow you to do an audio overview. Uh, and this is a two-person podcast format, and I've generated it already, uh, but I'll just give you an example here of what it sounds like. So, been digging into these Makerspace badges, have you? Something about these badges must caught your eye. Maybe it's the DIY aspect? Or could it be those digital bragging rights? Or maybe, just maybe, it's the potential for a little resume boost. Mm. So I'll pause it there, but as you can see, it's a nine-minute podcast drawing from the uh, information in the journal article in this case. There's some suggested questions here. Um, so for example, how do student perceptions of informal credentials affect their use in job searches? So I'm going to click on that, and it will come back with the response. And here's the response, and very helpfully it has citations, so you can figure out where the quotes came from and if you had more than one article, which article it came from. Um, last questions, do employers, employers value informal credentials? And you can see it's in the form of a chat conversation here. And it is taking a few seconds to come up, but there we go. Well, the source focuses primarily on student perceptions, they do offer some insights into how these credentials are viewed by employers, and so on. So, and again, uh, having written the paper, I can verify that that's not a bad uh, representation of what is in the paper. Um, so there you go, Notebook LM. It's a free. It's free to use if you've got a Gmail account, and again, it might be something useful for you. Again, all the same stipulations are, apply to this as any other generative AI tool. You need to disclose its use uh, in research for research purposes, uh, and based on or depending on what your instructor has has uh, told you in terms of what they expect for use or not use of generative AI tools, you of course need to abide by that. But again, this might be a useful research and/or studying tool. Take care.